Hello YouTube Pipe Community, OTC Piper here with a VR for Tallest Piper's giveaway. He's got some great things to offer and if you haven't uh, viewed his uh, his giveaway video or his page even, you want to post a link down below so you can give it a look, give him a sub. Uh, he's a good guy and uh, got a lot a lot a lot of cool stuff in his uh, in his list of prizes. So uh, cover some of the boring stuff first my age I am of age um, shipping's not going to be a concern now we get down to the pipe stuff let me go ahead and light my pipe I have some work from roof here my little pouch pipe that I keep The Borkum Riff Bourbon Whiskey. It's not a bad flavor or blend. Pour me some coffee here, we'll get going. Mm. Okay. I wrote this down in some chicken scratch that hopefully I can read. I want to know what started you in the YTPC. Well, the first YouTuber YouTuber in the pipe community that I found was Mutton Chop Piper. I watched him uh, for a long time uh, and started to learn a few of the other pipers. And uh, that kind of got me into the community. What got you know post what got me to start posting videos is uh, well I've been thinking about it. Uh, for a while, but what finally gave me the boost is uh, my brother started doing them. That's a uh, Catholic pipe stutter, and uh, I was watching his content, and I thought, well, uh, he can do it, so can I. Uh, so I kind of got over my nervousness about the issue and just started cranking out some videos. So. I think I might have packed it a little too tight. Let me go ahead and get a new light on. Okay, that's better. That's what started me in the YTPC, and it's been a blessing to be a, uh, a part of such a great community. Uh, glad that I, I did. Okay, so he asked a couple of hypothetical questions, and I love hypothetical questions. What is your Desert Island blend in your Desert Island pipe? Kind of, well, it's kind of hard to pick a blend, because I like so many of them. The only one that I could say that I disliked was uh, Captain Black Grape, so that wouldn't be on all this. Uh, currently, I'm smoking Bork and Riff Bourbon Whiskey. I mean, that's a good one. I guess I would say... Living up to the name OTC Piper, my favorite blend of all time has always been half and half, which I know is something, something simple and basic, and there's a lot more more complex and exciting blends, but that's the one that never uh, disappoints me. Uh, it's one uh, one of the ones my grandfather used to smoke, and takes me back to that time. So yeah, let me go ahead and say half and half. Uh, my favorite cob, or my favorite pipe is a cob, it's the uh, Country Gentleman. I guess this is saying that you'll have it in the supply of, of either one. You know, if not, you know, you might want something that's a little bit more stout. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say half and half in a cob. My white whale blend. Yes, what's the white whale blend? The one blend that for a long time I've tried to find, and now... I probably won't find it. Is it's a McClellan blend, but it was a uh, Maduro blend with pipe tobacco. I believe it was Virginia's, like matured Virginia's, with a Maduro cigar uh, leaf uh, mixed in with it, and that was a very good smoke. I bought it in 
many years ago just to try it out and I enjoyed it and hadn't found it since the shop that I bought it from had run out of their supply they didn't order anymore and I haven't been able to find it since that would be one I would love to find uh, if I could and some shout outs uh, one that recently uh, subbed the, the channel here is the the Pacific Northwest pipe smoker uh, said he's got uh, three subs and no content I believe I did sub this page. Uh, no video content it shows. Um, and so Pacific Northwest Pipe Smoker, if you're uh, listening or watching this video, we'd like to see some content from you. Uh, we'd like you to join on in and, you know, let's get to know you. Uh, there's also one, uh, Tight Knit Piper. And one I come across seemed like an interesting guy, Papa Hoot. Um, I saw from his content, it looks like he's been absent from the pipe community for a couple years now um, at least the way I, I understood it so uh, I can't you know I don't know what circumstances may have caused that uh, hiatus but you know if you're still doing videos or piping or anything we'd like to see you again so those are my three subs uh, again uh, give a I'm going to post a link to his giveaway video in the comments down below. I'd encourage you to go take a look at it. It's going to run through August the 15th. Um, give, him a, give him a look. Give him a sub if you haven't already. And with that, I'll sign off. OTC Piper wishing everybody all the best. Here's the good times and a warm pipe.